I am Anil Kumar and in this video I am going to solve a trigonometric equation. This question has been posted by my subscriber. So let me thank my subscribers for taking keen interest in my videos and uh, posting excellent questions. The question here is prove that there are no real values of x for which 4 secant square x minus secant x plus 2 tan square x equals to 0. Now let us try to understand this question. It is not an identity. It is a trigonometric equation in which we have to show that there exists no value of x for which this equation can be true. Right? Right? That's the question for us. Now, what kind of strategy do we follow in solving such a question? You see, it's kind of a quadratic equation in secant. We can always write tan square x in terms of secant square x. Uh, the identity which I'm going to use is 1 plus tan square x equals to secant square x, correct? Now, that's a trigonometric identity which relates tan with secant. So if I replace tan square x by 1 plus, I mean, I could rewrite this as tan square x equals to uh, secant square x minus 1. So I replace tan square x by secant square x minus 1 in the given equation. Then the equation can be rewritten as 4 secant square x minus secant x plus 2 times tan square x will be written as secant square x minus 1 equal to 0. Now we can expand and combine the like terms. We get 4 secant square x minus secant x plus 2 secant square x minus 2 equal to 0. Combining these, we get 6 secant square x minus secant x, and that gives us minus 2 equal to 0. Now, we are looking for product of 12 and sum of minus 1. So, we could write secant x as 6 secant square x. So product of minus 12. So it could be written as minus 4 secant x plus 3 secant x, correct? Minus 2 equal to 0. Now we can take uh, 2 secant x common in the first two terms. 2 secant x. So we get 6 divided by 2 is 3 secant x. 2 divided by 2, uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2 with a minus sign here. Plus, we could write this as 3 secant x minus 2, right, equal to 0. Now, 3 secant x minus 2 is common, so we could rewrite this as 3 secant x minus 2, right, and what we get here is 2 secant x plus plus 1 equal to 0. Now, in this equation, we have two factors, correct? So the solution will be for this to be 0 or the other one to be 0. So we have two possible solutions here. So if I equate 3 secant x minus 2 as 0, what do I get? I get 3 secant x minus 2 equals to 0. That means secant x is equals to taking 2 on this side dividing by 3 is that okay now for the other factor we get 2 secant x plus 1 equal to 0 that means secant x should be equal to taking 1 and dividing by 2 minus half is that okay so these are possible values of secant x for which we could have some solution, right? Let's look into it. Can secant x be 2 over 3 or minus half? Well, the range of secant x is actually 
greater than or equal to absolute value of 1, right? So, so it cannot be less than 1, right? So therefore, there is no solution. Well, we could also rewrite this as, let me take them again. We have secant x equals to 2 over 3. It really means cos x is what? Which is reciprocal of this, 3 over 2, right? Now, 3 over 2 is like 1.5. So that is not possible, is it okay? You could do like this also, right? Not possible because cos x has values between plus and minus 1. It cannot be greater than 1. Similarly, the other value here is secant x equals to minus half or cos x equals to minus 2. No, that is not possible, right? As you know, for cos x, the graph is kind of like this. Right? So the, for cos x, we could have maximum 1 or minus 1. Is it okay? So it cannot be, I'm sorry, this is a, yeah. So, so these two values are not possible for cos x. And therefore, we can say that no real value of x will satisfy this equation, right? So, so we could do, we could say here that, uh, well, we can say that secant x is either greater than or equal to 1 or secant x is less than or equal to minus 1, right? It cannot be in between these two values and therefore no solution. Okay, of course, a gap in between them. Or you could also write secant as reciprocal of cos, correct? So secant x equals to minus half really means cos x is 2 minus, right? So you could say that cos x is be between 1 and minus 1. It cannot be minus 2 or 1.5. And therefore, this equation has no real solution. Is it okay? So that is how you can actually solve this particular question on trigonometric identities. So the strategy here was to write this quadratic equation in terms of secant and then factor it, equate factors to zero to find possible values. Uh, but we landed up with values which are, which cannot be made true. And therefore, this equation is not possible. I hope uh, it's absolutely clear to you. All right? I'm Anil Kumar. If you have any difficulties, you can always post your queries or questions. Thank you and all the best.